my be my sugar cookie backpack what's the what's that freaking line in shrek the muffin man now let's take a look at the survivor pass all the skins involved in there and then we'll take a look at the contraband hideout creator code sedum crate and uh here you go so first thing is first there's two versions of the survivor pass now number one the standard survivor pass the one that you're used to seeing and used to buying used to be ten dollars or a thousand g coin now it's only five dollars so they reduce the cost by half very very good change the premium survivor pass is now fifteen dollars the premium survivor survivor pass is going to include extra crates for skins and a 10 level bump a a jump start on your level so standard pass oops is five and the premium is 15 and the premium is going to include let me move my camera i see i'm, I'm blocking some of this and the premium is going to include obviously the survivor pass 10 levels two of the new workshop survivor chests and then two keys these workshop workshop survivor chests are going to have imprints specifically from previous survivor passes that's very good that's very very good so all the previous survivor passes um if you didn't get to get those survivor passes you didn't get to complete them or whatever this chest specifically will have those things and it even has epic or higher gear too cool um you can buy the lee jung j set which actually comes with a really cool animated nameplate rocking the awm and you can wear his like his actual outfit i think but there you go so you can you can play as him in the game for 10 bucks or daniel Wu. same same story you can play as him in the game and get his animated nameplate very cool uh we have the season's greetings set the massive mega holiday bundle which they say is 65 percent off i don't know if i trust that but um here you go there's a bunch of stuff in here holy cow so this new emote holiday cheers in the air yeah uh yesterday we took stella to the uh the mall where they have the christmas like choo-choo trains and santa claus pictures and stuff like that she loved it it was the coolest thing she was actually walking around the mall with us it's so crazy because last year she obviously not doing any of that it's crazy to see how much difference a year makes uh so you got the scarf here let me turn make sure my outfit's off uh the mega bundle has the scarf this overcoat uh the shorts the boots the gloves and had they have fingernails of uh, the my hands are kind of poking to the gloves but the gloves and fingernails oh a new ace skin an ace 32 uh baby it's cold outside all right all right little uh snowman some glitter on the stock and the top rail not a bad looking skin actually i like the gold accent there it's kind of cool uh this really cool top hat a uh, red trench coat thing overcoat toy soldier pants they are not vibing with those boots at all they are clipping like crazy there uh the new dragon off it's in this i need this dragon off skin look at this oh it's not stat tracking though oh man i just bought that stat tracking dragon off this is actually a cool looking skin though i do like this dragon off skin very good looking love the colors uh look at the my be my sugar cookie backpack what's the what's that freaking line in shrek the muffin man that's funny uh level two helmet or oh, another reindeer helmet this is the second reindeer helmet they've added that's cool headless tur <laughs> yo <laughs> somebody go get corky dude my man's cooked <laughs> somebody go get my boy corky dude he's cooked that's dude i hope corky rocks this that is awesome that is freaking hilarious um a new reindeer head jesus that's funny uh a sweater another sweater can i get let go of the gun there we go another sweater some boots and some reindeer socks that's cute a new hairstyle but take off the head there we go new hairstyle oh my god so voluptuous look at the volume uh new makeup new spray happy holidays with a ak and a level three helmet i like that 
And then, oh, cool. A festive animated nameplate. Oh, it's filled with like first aid and stuff on the Christmas tree. Grenades, energy drink. That's cool. And then the holiday cheer emote. Very cool. Okay. That's the mega bundle. You can get things uh, individually. The smaller sets, if you'd like. You can actually buy individual items, which is awesome. Oh, bummer. They don't have a bundle with the two weapons, though. So if you want the weapon, it's $9.90 for the ace, $9.90 for the dragon off. Because um, each of those are in separate bundles here. I don't like that. I, I, they always should put the weapons together. You know, maybe you only want to spend 10 bucks or 15 bucks and get both weapons. That should be an option. But, but okay, so there you go. So the two weapons are there. All that stuff's there. The PGC stuff is still going on. If you want to support your boys in the PGC, you can still do it. Although the coupons don't matter, but the esport points do. All that's uh, old. Okay, very good. I thought they removed this option to buy your contraband coupons with BP. Always buy your contraband coupons with BP each week. You can buy up to like 50 of them if you have enough uh, BP. I thought they removed that for a second. I was going to get triggered. Okay, uh, so now let's take a look at the actual pass. That was the whole store. And let's take a peek. So we have the Survivor Premium Pass, which gave us the 10 level head start. The Survivor Pass is broken down a bit differently. Let me explain it as quickly and briefly as possible for those who want to skip through. The Survivor Pass now is going to have multiple tracks. So previous Survivor Pass, everybody would start at level one. You would get the same unlocks at each level up to level 50, for example, right? The new survivor pass everyone starts at level one but you get to determine what unlocks you want to unlock first you can still unlock all the items that you want but let's say you open up uh the survivor pass and track one is where you have to start if you're level one level one through ten you can only unlock things that are in track one once you get to level 11 you can unlock things in track two once you get to level 21 you can unlock things in track three and then the bonus track is the same thing once you get to level 31. Now, when you are playing, one second, babe. When you're playing one through level 10, every time you level up, you're going to unlock the survivor points. You can bank the survivor points like I have here. Well, my screen's covering it, but under my camera, it says survivor points 55. You get to choose which item you want to unlock first. That, I think, is a good thing. Yes, ma'am. But after reading the the patch notes of the survivor pass i think this is actually a good change number one the pass is cheaper it's five dollars cheaper than what it was before that's a good thing uh they did however do something a little sleazy i think that some people pointed out in the comments of the uh, last video they did the g coin black friday sales event and so a lot of people bought extra g coin with the anticipation that they were going to buy the future survivor passes with that g coin but then they changed it now where you can't use G coin to buy the survivor pass. You have to actually buy it like with your credit card, I guess, or something. Not really, uh, not sure that was the right move. Um, but anyway, so right now I'm up to level 11. So I have access to track one and track two. When you first start, you'll be in track one. As you complete your daily missions, your weekly missions, your challenge missions, all the same stuff that we're used to doing, you'll unlock a certain amount of SP survivor points. You then get to, at whatever point you want to choose, claim your survivor points. And what do we have? What are the rewards? Let's see. So we got a uh, skin bundle. You got skin bundle. You got uh, M24, very Rondo festive skin. You've got a Rondo festive parachute, dancing with lions. You've got an actual dance. Surprise, motherfucker. Get it, girl. You've got a new fish weapon charm. You've got a BP boost. You've got 10 artisan oh, tokens, there. which are going to be used in the workshop, which will cover those brand new skins in just a minute. More BP boost, two keys, and then a bonus dancing animated nameplate at the end of uh, track one. Track two, level 11 through uh, what? 20, 21. Uh, you have another skin bundle. You have the M4 mistletoe misfire. That's actually a really nice looking skin. I like that a lot. That's a good skin. Uh, you get the don't play koi with me helmet. That's a great Vikendi helmet. <clears throat> koi fish up there. More artisan tokens. More three workshop chests. 400 polymer. Three uh, keys. 15,000 BP. 
which is enough to buy some contraband coupons, two workshop chests, and then a bonus animated nameplate. Level tw 21. Uh, up to level 30 gets you more skins. A golden flame Dacia skin. Very, very cool looking Dacia, I must say. I really like that. New Koi backpack. Love the backpack. Sipping the tea. It's even got smoke coming out of it. I like that one. That one's cool. Uh, new spray emote. It's one of the brand new survivor chests that have previous survivor pass items. Schematics. Only one schematic, but schematics are there. Uh, 10 contraband coupons, 500 G coin. Bro, that's the cost of the pass. Animated nameplate is the bonus. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Not animated. Uh, the emblem is the bonus. This guy right here. The bonus track for all of you grinders out there who get to level 31 and beyond. You get five more coupons. You get chests. Five more coupons. You get chests. You get more emblems and you get an actual reward. The pass contender uh, reward in your in your career tab. Look, say what you will about it's copying Fortnite or Call of Duty. I think this is a very, very positive change for us, the players, because you can still get all the stuff. You just get to choose when, when you get it. A prime example is me, last survivor pass, um, the crafter pass. You guys know I've been working six twelves. I have very little time to play PUBG. I didn't get to rank up my pass all the way. I didn't get all the rewards. Now, granted, PUBG gives them to me, thankfully, because I'm a you know, partner. But let's say I wasn't a partner, which obviously a lot of you are not, and you're working crazy schedules. You don't have a lot of time to play the game sometimes. Maybe you look at the pass and you go, man, I really want the pass, but I only really want the weapon skins or whatever. Then you can focus on getting just those things unlocked first. And then if you have extra you know, tokens or whatever, then you get the other shit. I think that's a good change. I, I do I do like that. And then of course the missions, um, same thing as before, right? So you get three daily missions. Um, oh no, it's not the same as before. Where's the button to get three new missions? Did they take that away? Down here, there was there used to be an option to get three more missions per day. Has that been removed? Weekly missions. I don't see that about the missions. Do they have a... Weekly missions are updated every week. Three daily missions are added and can be swapped out up to three times at no extra charge. Yo, I think they removed that option. That's stinky poo. Okay, so that's a that's an asterisk here. That that's a that's a negative. Previously, you could do three missions. Once you do all three of these missions, you hit a little button, you spend some BP, and they give you three new missions that day. So you could actually do six missions per day, which helps you rank up your survivor pass fast. That looks to be removed, gone, not an option. I don't like that. I don't like that. Inside the survivor pass, inside, oh, they also put a new tab up here for survivor pass. Inside the survivor pass, you saw these guys, right? And then you also saw these guys, artisan tokens. That's all gonna be in the workshop. So the workshop, you're gonna go to uh, specialty crafting, which keep in mind, if you're seeing this video tomorrow, uh, you're gonna have about three days left to spend your black market tokens before they Fugazi expire. Do not forget to do that. The artisan crafting token section is a specialty crafting uh, page where you can get very, very unique and limited gear. All of these old sets are still available. Uh, these are the two new ones, the cyber survivor set, which costs a hundred artisan tokens. So you have the sandstorm sentinel set, S Sen sentinel set. You get the cool little gas mask, um you get the outerwear i like these uh these these glow those don't glow but they look cool you get the pants cool with like the armor knee pads on them you get the gloves and you get the uh the big boots it's actually a pretty cool looking set i like this i do like the set it's very like um scorpion-esque like mortal kombat you know then the cyber survivor set is like obviously the female variant, but you can wear whatever the hell you want to wear. This one's got the blue uh, little linkage up here. I wish there was more blue on this one, but okay. Uh, the pants, no knee pads, um, the gloves, 
Surprise, motherfucker. Boots. That this looks like uh, Back to the Future. <gasps> Hook on. Uh, new hair set and new makeup. I think I prefer the Sandstorm Sentinel set, if I'm being honest. But either one is going to set you back a hundred artisan tokens. And these tokens can only be achieved like two different ways. You can get those tokens inside of these chests, or you can now get them in the survivor pass. The survivor pass is going to give you how many? 10, 20, 21, uh, 20. So you get 20 tokens there. Um, and you're going to need to, you know, open up crates to get the other one. So that's going to be very, very, very limited. All right. So, uh, inside of the survivor chests you want to go see what's what's inside of these things i haven't opened one up yet let's see uh, so i have two of them do they cost a key yes open chest using key so you still need your keys i have tw i have 21 keys 21 uh let's take a look what do we get we got two chests and then we're going to open up the hideout contraband credit code seat on crate open the sleek punk set imprint and a bonus survivor chest my boy looking like he had a disco looking boozy bad open up another one. Oh, this was from the um the the jailbreak survivor pass guilty as charge the set which means you get uh weapon skins if they have weapon skins too what's next all right the Taurus trap set this is an old one from paramo oh another bonus chest let's go that's two bonus chestises. <laughs> and the Dino Land Benny mask. So all of those items will go here into your, uh, you know, your crafting section and you can choose to craft or not. Oh, I don't have the, uh, the DP 28 skin yet. I don't have the skin. I'm going to, I'm going to for sure craft that. I'm in my, uh, my task of owning all the skins in the game. Very cool. So I can craft the boots and the um the dp28 for what 600 credits very good i have everything there that's the mask the top and the uh boots i've got the top and the pants there and i've got the mask very cool very cool all right so that's just a little preview of what you can get in the hideout uh crate or the workshop crate excuse me